All right, y'all, let's get straight to the point to this one here. Because, see, a lot of y'all been fooled by this silly girl right here. Yes, this fool. Fooled a lot of y'all because she said, oh, somebody, some guy hit her in the face with a brick all because she didn't want to get a guy her phone number. Y'all do know that whole thing was a charade. It was fake. It was all staged. This girl injected herself with saline. You know what I'm talking about when I say saline. You remember those guys that would pump themselves up, little bony, skinny guy would inject themselves with some saline to make themselves look like they got muscles, but they really bony as heck. That's exactly what she did. Because let me tell you something. Do you know what it really looks like when someone get hit with a brick or you fall on a concrete, scrape your leg? You know, it looks something like this right here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it looks like that. That girl didn't have one scratch on her face. She wasn't bleeding or nothing. But everybody ate it up. Why? Because, see, it's easy to blame a man. Any, under any circumstance for anything, this country has made it to where women could lie and say anything that a man did and everybody just go for it. Oh, a man did it. You know, he, and then, remember, she was crying. She was in the hospital crying, talking about this guy hit her with a brick. Even in this picture right here. It even, look at it. It looks like she's laughing and smiling. Because she know, she all, she staged this whole thing. And guess what? For all you goofy people out there that y'all sent her, y'all go fund me her. That girl raised over 35000 now 40000 or more right now of y'all money because y'all was suckers. Y'all fall for the nonsense. Someone come up with some bogus crap and say some man did it. And right away, y'all go with it. And they real quick, this, whenever they say a black man, because remember, she was trying to ridicule black men, saying, oh, a black man did this. This girl, check her bio, check her history. She got a history for staging stuff and getting people to go fund her. And a lot of y'all fell for that sucker stuff. But when we speak about blaming a black man, we can't go, we can't forget about all the historical evil stuff in this country. Like, remember this lady here, the Emmett Till stuff? And even she admitted many years later that it was all a lie, but got that young man killed. You know what I'm saying? We can keep going on and on. Remember the lady who claimed that a black man carjacked her and then they went in the neighborhood where she said it happened and they started rounding up arresting black men when all along this lady had killed her own kids, drowned them in the ocean, put the car in the ocean and drowned them. Remember that? See, but it's easy to say, oh, a black man did it. A man or a black man even worse, right? Oh, let's not forget about this lady here. Remember this lady here? Like I said, we can keep going. Remember this lady right here? She said that, um, what did she say? She said something that uh somebody kidnapped her kids or whatever. All along, she had stole money from her job and went to Disney World. Remember that story? See, this this is what these women do. So I know you even probably got women out there say, man, I, I hate women. No, there's nothing like that because I did a video a while ago called Women Lie to Destroy the World. And then I also did another video called um Just Blame It on the Man. Go watch both those videos. Because in both those videos, I'm not trying to bad. I got a wife. I got daughters. I love women. But I hate a liar. I hate a person who sabotaged. You know, and what that woman did right there, she fooled all of y'all by putting a banana in the tailpipe. Mm -hmm. First team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly We're not going to fall for a banana in the tailpipe. You're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe? <laughs> it should be more natural, brother. It should flow out like this. Look, man, I ain't falling for no banana in my tailpipe. Anyway, that's more natural that's for us. You've been hanging out with this dude too long. Woman played a game on y'all. Y'all <laughs> fell for that. I'm sorry, I'm just fucking right. with you. Y'all fell for that nonsense, and she raised thousands of dollars ridiculing and lying on men, and y'all ate up. Even that fool, and I gotta call him just that. What's his name? Rashad, the, the, the show called Undisputable. Even that fool put it on his show. And he said, oh, this was wrong with this, what some man did. Huh? No man should be putting his hands on a woman. Yes, I got to keep saying a fool because instead of doing his research, he was quick to jump on the bandwagon and believe this lying lady. And I remember the day he put it on his show, me and my wife, we already was kind of skeptical about his show because some stuff was good, but other stuff was like, wait a minute, you got to get all his facts right. The moment he was talking about this, I said, yo, just like... You done fucked up, man. Yeah. I said, you know what I'm saying? I, no, I, I thought that's what you're saying. You're not fucked up now. You're not done. He ain't even did his research, and he's so quick 
to jump on the bandwagon of this lying lady here. Look at her in this picture. She actually is smiling because she know she injected herself with saline and said, I'm going to go out here and put on a crying act because women know how to turn on them tears on, on, a, on a second. I'm going to inject myself with saline and go out here with these crying tears and put on a scene. And then in the hospital, I'm sure even in the hospital, they was like, wait a minute, there's no scars, there's no bruising, there's no bleeding. They just had to take that stuff out of her face, which was the injection. But she fooled a lot of y'all and had y'all hateful for men. You see how they put evil women like her out there to try to be, have the world hateful of more men. You got this go Me Too movement and all this crap. All behind nefarious women like her. So shame on all you fools that fell for the nonsense. Even that joke of Rashawn, the undisputable. See, this one made me say, I don't even want to watch this show no more with all the nonsense. Peace.